In this video, I will show you how to solve algebraic equations, systems of linear equation, take a derivative and integral analytically, just like a pen and paper approach in GNU Octave and MATLAB. If this is the topic that you are interested in learning, please stay tuned. To support my channel, you know what to do. To analytically solve the math equations, you need to use a symbolic math package. For Octave user, you need to load the symbolic math package, and for MATLAB user, you can directly use the symbolic math package without loading additional package. In the command window, you can type pkg load symbolic. If this is the first time to load the symbolic math package, it takes a while to load. I already loaded this package before, it is a quick and simple. The first example that I'd like to show is to solve the linear equation 2x minus 1 equal to 0. The expected solution is 1 half. Now, let's find out if we can get this in Octave or MATLAB. To use the symbolic math expression, you need to start with the declaring variables to work with. In this case, we have only one variable x. Without declaring this, x will be used as a normal variable. For example, if I type 2x minus 1 equals 0, it shows an error message, since Octave MATLAB recognized this expression as a normal script, not as a symbolic math. To tell the Octave MATLAB that the variable x is a symbolic variable, you need to start with sims x. To solve 2x minus 1 equal to 0, you can use built-in function solve. It required the equation. Now I use solve 2x minus 1 double equals 0. Now you can see x equal to 1 half. Please make sure that you use double equal sign to express the equal sign in the equation. Since we have only one variable to solve for, we did not explicitly mention which variable to solve for. However, if you have multiple variables, we need to specify this in the solve function, like solve 2x minus 1 equal to 0 comma x. If you want to save it under a certain variable for future use, you can also start with the variable followed by the equal sign. In this case, I will use solve for the variable you can choose your own variable. Now the solution is saved under the solve. The next example is the quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. To solve it using pen and paper approach, you're expecting x equal to minus 1 or 2. This example can be solved similarly by using solve function. My equation is x squared minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now you can see the solution x equal to minus 1 or 2. Next example is to show the quadratic formula for ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. In this case, we have multiple variables a, b, c, and x. You have to declare four variables using sims a, b, c, and x. Then you can use the solve function by using solve a x squared plus b x plus c. Please make sure that you use comma x since you want to solve the quadratic equation for x. Now you can see the two solutions. Next example is the systems of linear equations. We have 2x plus y equals 4 and x minus y equals minus 1. You are expecting x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. Since we have two variables, x and y, we need to declare both x and y by using sims x and y. Now you can type 2x plus y double equals 4, comma x minus y double equals minus 1. However, it does not show the result explicitly. Since we have two solutions, x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. 
The solution is saved as a structured data type under Solve. To access the solution for x and y, you need to use sol.x and sol.y. Now you can see x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. Alternatively, you can define each equation using other variables. For example, you can use eq1 equals 2x plus y, that will equal 4, and eq2 equals x minus y, that will equal minus 1. Then use eq1 and eq2 instead, like eq1, eq2. So you have the same result. The next example is how to take a derivative. Let's say we have fx equal to natural log of x and the take derivative of it is 1 over x. To use a symbolic math, you can use sims x. And then you need to define your function f by having f equals log x. And then you can use solve equals diff f comma x. We use the comma x since we take a derivative with respect to x. Similarly, if you want to take a derivative of sine x, you can define f equals sine x. Then continue to use diff function as solve equals diff f comma x to see the cosine x. Now, what if you want to take an integral? For example, if you have f equal to 2x, and the integer of f is x squared. To use a symbolic math, you can start with sims x. And we can use f equal to x. Then we can use solve equals int f comma x. The int stands for integral and it integrates f over dx. As you expect, you can see x squared. Similarly, you can integrate cosine over dx by using f equal to cosine x and then repeat int function. And you can find the solution as sine x. Thanks for watching this video until the end. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.